Rick Gates, that is Donald Trump's former deputy campaign manager, is due back on the stand today after a dramatic day of testimony, pointing the finger at Paul Manafort, saying they're both guilty. This morning, Rick Gates becoming the first Trump campaign official to confess his crimes on the witness stand. Gates, Paul Manafort's former deputy and longtime right-hand man, asked by the prosecution, were you involved in any criminal activity with Mr. Manafort? His reply, yes. Asked, did you commit any crimes with Mr. Manafort? Gates again responding, yes. Special counsel Robert Mueller's star witness in the Manafort case admitting he and Manafort conspired to falsify Manafort's tax returns, hiding millions of dollars from the IRS in 15 offshore bank accounts. All of it, according to Gates, done at Manafort's direction, insisting both men knew they were committing a crime. Manafort, President Trump's former campaign chairman, has pleaded not guilty to tax and bank fraud charges. Another stunning confession, Gates admitting he also stole hundreds of thousands of dollars from Manafort while working for him. Inside the courtroom, tense moments, Manafort, his arms crossed, staring directly at his former protege. But Gates, seemingly nervous and speaking fast, never making eye contact with his former mentor. For the White House, Gates' testimony packs a punch as Mueller's investigation picks up speed. The president's lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, telling NBC News he's preparing to respond to Mueller's request for an interview with the president in the coming days. President Trump remaining out of sight at his New Jersey golf club, but on Twitter increasingly agitated, again lashing out at the Russia inquiry. Amid new questions, he ignited about that 2016 Trump Tower meeting between his son, Donald Jr., and a Russian lawyer tied to the Kremlin. The president's eldest son deflecting, blaming the media. They've gotten plenty of mileage out of this thing, and they're going to keep milking it for as long as they possibly can. As for the scrutiny of that 2016 Trump Tower meeting, Donald Trump Jr. said it was, quote, essentially a waste of time. And as for Paul Manafort's trial, we are told the president has been watching, recently dismissing the case as a hoax. The charges against both men largely predate their time on the Trump campaign. If convicted, Paul Manafort could spend the rest of his life behind bars. Savannah and Hoda. All right, Peter, thank you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.